Hey guys, it's Fat Cat Scooter Glenn here at Chandler's Power Sports in Chandler, Arizona. And these guys are the best. They always let me uh, take out the newest bikes. And today, this one, I, I didn't even know about. This one is called the uh, X-Town. It's a 300. Um, it's from Kimco and it's a beautiful bike. And I, 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 they just, I came in the shop today. He handed me the keys. I put on my helmet and I started riding. It is fantastic. Um, it comes in, I believe, at just under $4,000. It's, uh, uh, it's just under 300 cc's. It's actually just, I think, a cc or two uh, bigger than the, uh, than the Vespa 300. It's obviously a different bike. It's a, it's a uh, more of a modern style. Again, I can't say enough good things about it. Very, very smooth. Um, I took it out on the highway, accelerated to highway speeds, no problem. And compared to uh, other scooters I've ridden in the same size, just uh, really, again, really smooth, smooth takeoff, really firm handling. It felt very secure. You, you felt like you're on a, a heavy bike, and uh, but uh, but still, it was very, very nimble. Got on this bike about 10 minutes ago. Took it for a ride. And I'm looking at it for the first time. But walking around, one of the things I was really impressed with are these uh, these side lights on the on the blinkers. Very bright. Uh, they're gonna let uh, other cars and vehicles know where you're going. Um, just like most of King Coast stuff, the uh, instrument panel, the buttons, the switches, really sturdy, really well laid out. Um, the instrument panel on the previous bike I had, had a lot of chrome, which was hard in the sun, you get reflection. This one is all blacked out uh, with white uh, numbering and lettering, really easy to read. Um, I'll show you that when you turn the key to start it up, it just has a kind of neat little self-check that it does. Uh, easy access to uh, brake checks, really nice quality uh, brake grips. Uh, the grips on it are just really first class, really well done. Uh, I like that they're darked out. Uh, side view mirrors, you can see past your shoulder, which uh, a lot of bikes you can't, and on this one you can. Uh, has a glove box and has a lot of room in it, really easy to open up. Uh, Multi-directional key, of course you turn it one way and of course it won't work for me now, but there it goes. And uh, you can open up the trunk, has a really bright LED in it. Uh, I'm sure there's even more to it I don't know about, but it's a nice deep trunk. You can easily fit a half helmet or two in there and along with a nice big lunch. Um, there's a, the fuel uh, is right up here. I did put fuel in it uh, before I went on this ride. Really easy to get to, and a lot of bikes, you, like the Vespa, I hate to say, it's really hard to get to the fuel because it's back in here under the lid. Here, um, it's easy to get to. I had a Piaggio, where if you lifted the trunk, it, it, it was a lot more steps to get to the fuel to the fuel uh, cap, and, and this one, it was really nice and easy. I did want to point out, there's a little arrow at the top of the gas gauge. You gotta make sure it's facing north like that or you're not gonna be able to shut the gas cap. Blinkers work very nicely. Uh, of course, they have a rear shock, like most do. Uh, it's just very clean, very clean layout. The exhaust, uh, I thought the exhaust and the, and the heat shield on it just have a really nice uh, modern look. I like the way they painted it. Um, you can see your fuel fuel, fuel check is right here. Uh, really super easy to get to. It does have a center stand. Uh, and it does have a side stand. It does have rear passenger uh, foot pegs, which are really nice. Uh, front and rear discs. Seat, seat was very comfortable. Um, any scooter, right? You never ever seem to have enough leg room. This one, uh, I just, I, I hadn't noticed it before, but it, it, uh, it, it has two foot positions. One is the standard, you know, straight up where you put your foot flat. And then they have one here where you can ride with your, your legs straighter out. Still, because of the backrest, like a lot of bikes, you, it's still not quite enough room. It's still a little tight. You know, if you're over six foot, it's still gonna be a little bit of a tight bike. Uh, this one is liquid cooled. Uh, as I mentioned, has engine is peppy, responsive. Uh, handling was great. You know, don't be intimidated. It may look like a big bike, but it handled, it handled like my Vespa uh, as far as being nimble. But as far as, again, as being smooth, out on the road, taking potholes, cracks in the road, rock solid. Couldn't be, couldn't be more happy with it. it. It does have a windscreen. You know, it, it does a, a little bit of help. Uh, when really nice lights on this thing. Really nice blinkers. Really impressed with it. Nice loud horn. Um, the instrument panel. 
Uh, it's fantastic. When you first turn it on, the ABS light's gonna come on. As soon as you roll just a few feet, uh, it's gonna come off. They have the different modes. Uh, I didn't get a chance to play with it, um, but uh, looks like you have uh, engine temperature, really nice fuel gauge, a clock, and of course the odometer. There is a, uh, there is a thermostat uh, temperature light, and uh, again, I need to read more on it, but it looks like it does give you uh, operating temperature. Um, you have a, your oil light, you have an engine light. The key has a kind of cool little lock switch. If you press this button that says shut, it locks it so no one can, you know, as it's part mess with your key. And I know a lot of Kimcos have this, but if you put the bottom, the little base has a funny little circular rotor molded part on it. If you put it in there just right, which, there you go, I got it, and you turn it, it opens up the key cover plate lock. So it keeps people from messing around when you're, when you're parked somewhere. Really bright lights, nice wide tires, good sized tires. For the price, I don't think you're gonna beat it. And I've had Kinko's before. Uh, rock solid bike, great company. And uh, I, I'd recommend one. Make sure you sit on it, make sure you're comfortable with the seating position and how you sit. Um, but everything for the, for the size, for the price, for the comfort, for the handling, um, just really first class, great, great job. I believe it has a two-year warranty as well. And again, thank you uh, to uh, Chandler Power Sports for letting me take this, this uh, bad boy out. It was a lot of fun.